Okay. All right, everybody, welcome back to 605 Live. That is Harding County football coach Jay Woman on the line with us. Coach, uh, good, uh, good day to you. How are things going over in Harding County? Things are great. Uh, happy to be back playing some football. You know, it's been it's been a, a great, great two, three weeks of practice. So, uh, yeah, things are really good here. G give me some thoughts on that that opening uh, uh, that season opening win over Dupree. That's kind of a young football team. I think they're going to be pretty good here in a couple of years. Uh, but tell me about your guys. How how'd they perform on the field, both offensively and defensively? Yeah, Dupree. Yeah, like you said, they are a young football team. They have. Not very many. I don't even think they had a senior out, but a couple juniors, but a lot of good freshmen and sophomores, very athletic team. They're going to be, they're going to be scary in the future. And even by the end of this year, I think they're going to be a very quality, good football team. But yeah, we, we were excited to see what, you know, our first game coming out, you always have some of those first game jitters and mix ups, you know, and stuff like that. But we were able to execute very well. We had a good combination of running and passing. I believe Kelby Het, he was seven for nine for 150 yards spread the ball around really well. Uh, Kelby had to, to, to his brother, Keegan had had three big catches. Gage Gilbert had some catches and uh, yeah, it's, and Caden Floyd, we move him around a lot. He, he had a pretty dang good game too. Just from following you guys along uh, over the last couple of years, how many more hats are there? Get ready to talk through that. <laughs> you gotta so, be excited about that. Yeah, very excited. So these two, they're juniors, they're identical twins and they have a younger brother who's actually going to be in the fourth grade this year. So, there's a little gap in between them, but, but yeah, we're not going to run out of them for a while. Coach, I, I always like talking about the big guys up front. Um, you know, I, and a lot of people know that that's where a lot of the action gets done. Can, can you tell me about some of your offensive linemen and, and, you know, maybe some people on defense that are sluggos that really get after it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like uh, our main focal point up front, Greg Gilbert, he's only a junior, but he's a, He's a six foot, 230 pound kid. I mean, he's, he's been working hard in the weight room and he's an all state caliber caliber player, both uh, left guard and D tackle for us. So he's where it starts. And another senior Cody Barnett, he's, he's our center and gets some D tackle run. He's been a two year set starter at the center position and he doesn't, I mean, he always makes the right calls for us and does a great thing up front. So um, those two are our biggest returners. And then we had a new deputy come in actually who had a, Kid, a couple kids from Bowman who are now living here in Harding County and they started for Bowman last year and uh, Navarre Head is starting at right guard for us so those are our three kids up front that have done a really good job for us so we're excited to see where our line goes we're not quite where we want to be yet but we're getting there fast. So I believe and correct me if I'm wrong here but I looked at your roster the other day and it seemed like there was an awful lot of kids out for football mm -hmm. in Harding County I, I check your ADP every now and then and it's not a lot how do you yeah. get so many kids to go out for football in Harding County? You know, it's, I, I don't know. I, they just love it here from a young age, from the time, you know, they're in kindergarten during football games, they're out throwing the football around at recess every day. You get to watch them playing out there, playing football every day. So we have that nice luxury. So we have 23 kids from Buffalo out this year, 24 actually now from Buffalo. And then, you know, the co-op with Bison happening this year, uh, we got seven freshmen from Bison too. So with those numbers, 31, I don't think we've had that many kids in 10 plus years. So it's really nice to see you over there on the sidelines. Um, I, I wanted to ask you about the, the polls real quickly. I'm, you know, I'm sure that doesn't mean much of a hill of beans right now at this point in the season. Can you <laughs> yeah. give the guys a little juice uh, to, you know, to be mentioned so early in the season? You know, yeah, I tell them to not, try not to pay too much attention to it, but at the end of the day, you kind of want to see where you're stacked up preseason and then once the season gets going. And, uh, yeah, we know we're, in, we're one of the top teams in, our, in 9B football right now. I, at least we expect to be there. Um, but we know at the same time we got to get better every day, and those polls really don't matter. you got to come out and prove it every Friday night. So speaking of seeing where you're at, uh, I was yeah. looking ahead at the schedule, and, and you guys uh, meet up with Lex Heathershaw's Wall Eagles. That's a, that's a good, tough football program. That's certainly going to be a challenge for you guys this early in the year. It really is. And, the, you know, the, the tradition and our rivalry, it goes back to the mid-80s uh, with Wall. And we finally got to get those games back again. Um, we, haven't, we got them back on the schedule two years ago, and um, they've been really good football games. We're excited to be, have the opportunity to play Wall. We watched them play on Friday night against a very tough Gregory team. And yeah. there was a lot of athletes out on the field for both squads. So, uh, 
uh, Wall came out on top of that one, 18 to six. They were flying around. So it's going to be a really fun football game. I'm just excited. We're, you know, like you said, we're going to find out exactly where we are come Friday night because if you can go in there and beat a wall team or compete with the wall team, I think you're in 9B football. You're going to be able to compete with pretty much anyone in the rest of the state. Jay, just one final question. I'll, uh, I'll let you get back to business for the day. But um, um, how much community support do you guys get? I, I've been following Harding County for a few years now. And, and you know, it always seems like the football team is good. Last year, you had a couple of injuries that kind of affected you. But um, I'm sensing from some of these small schools, when you have good, consistent teams over and over, some part of the community has something to do with that. They do. There's a lot of give and take from the community. Um, it starts in the summers. You know, kids are always busy in the summer. Parents are busy. You know, it is what it is. But the kids find time. The kids, kids find time for us every Thursday night. They, we get together. We get we get our football team going and uh, just get together, have fun in the summer, you know, and, and that's where it really has to start. We got a bunch of dedicated kids right now. And um, I'm excited to see where our future is going, even with this bison. Um, they're behind us. We're behind them. Um, you know, we're starting new beginnings here, new traditions, and it's an exciting time to be a rancher in Harding County and Bison. So um, it's it's going to be something we hope that continues. Um, having numbers like this is is great. We can tackle more at practice. We can do play some JV games. I mean, that's been one thing that we've been missing. Um, when we're when we're you know 15 to 20 kids, you can't afford to really play very many JV games, and it seems like there's four or five kids that, that aren't quite ready to play at the varsity level that get left out. So this year we got three JV games scheduled and everyone's going to get the opportunity to play some this year. Well, Jay, I'm going to let you go. Uh, good luck in your games this season. You've got some big fans here at 605 Sports and we're going to be following you. you guys throughout the year, sir. Thank you. It's uh, yeah. Thanks for having me on and, you know, talking to Hardin County Bison football. So I'm excited.